What is going on, good people of YouTube? I am Big Will McKinney, and welcome back to the Smokehouse Lounge. Listen, I like Smokehouse Talks that is more instructional about your pipe smoking, how to do, what to do. The lounge is a little bit more laid back. This is where we grab our pipes, we light them up, get a comfortable chair, and we talk about today's trending topics. So, welcome back. Glad that you took some time to rock with me today. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot about this the last time, my manners. Um, I am smoking on just a, a plain barley or burley blend today. And I recommend you do that. There's a lot of different blends out there, a lot of different combinations, but every now and so often, just to get the appreciation for a particular tobacco, rather it is Cavendish, rather it is Latakia, rather it is Burley, you need to smoke it on its own. So we got some Burley uh, going today. Um, got a little bit of that turkey, one-on-one. -on -one. Good stuff, man. Makes for a really good conversation starter, right? So, what are we talking about today? Hmm. I don't know if you guys saw in the news about the six-year-old that shoots the, brings a gun to school and shoots the teacher. You know, and, and, and this may come across as more of a rant than a conversation, but I don't know. If, do you guys get the feeling that that things are getting worse, particularly with, with our kids. Um, you know, there's a few things that stand out to me when I think about this. Um, you know, you go to YouTube and you see videos of these kids in school. And, you know, I know I'm 53 and I'm a little older, um, but I remember, you know, uh, kids mouthing off with the teachers and then I, I, I remember that I'm not that far removed from school that I don't remember that um, but you can go on YouTube now and you can find videos of six and seven year olds grade schoolers literally cursing their adult teachers out I don't give a F get out my F in face uh, uh, I'll beat your F and A. I mean, just blatant. Uh, there's a piece of me that that wasn't even surprised um, with that uh, with that shooting of that teacher. Um, I think what upsets me the most about it is that, you know, again, I think we're like playing by this by 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 this old playbook. Like things have definitely changed. The kids. By, or, or not all of them, I won't generalize, but a lot of them don't have basic respect and courtesy. And it's because they were never taught that. You know, uh, rather that be because dad is not in the home, rather that be because mom has to work extra hours and she's not at home. And as a result of that, the child is raising themselves. But the basic, the basic um, the basic courtesy and respect that we were taught to give anybody, especially somebody in authority, whether that be a teacher, a police officer, that's just gone. That's just gone. And we are still, we're still in the old playbook of, oh, they're, they're just kids. Oh, they just need some love. Oh, they just need somebody to... And meanwhile, these kids or these little terrorists are harming and hurting people. Um, uh, that's a problem. That's a problem for me. And the fact that they have changed and evolved. And we as adults have not, by and large. We're still on that old playbook of... You know, like I said, Johnny and Jenny is coming to school armed now. They're not just cursing you out. They're actually shooting you and possibly taking your life. And we're still on that, oh, we just need to, 
oh, they just need, you know, maybe kids of my generation, you could have done that too. I remember my father, um, I played sports and kids in my neighborhood. And, you know, I had, a, we, we had a few, we had a few wild ones, wild ones in the bunch. And, you know, my dad would kind of pull them off to the side and try to talk to them. And the worst of the bunch, the worst, the absolute worst of the bunch, the best my father would, or the worst my father would get is, yeah, I understand, Mr. McKinney. I get, yeah, I got it. Now, they weren't listening to him, of course, but there was a basic courtesy and respect merely of his adulthood, and that is totally gone now. And, you know, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I, this may come across as insensitive. This may come across as, as non-caring, but no. Uh, the ideal of I have to now risk my life to try to help these these kids that don't want help, number one, and number two, that it's not my responsibility. Again, it's that it takes a village to raise a child. Yes, that is exactly right. When the child was receptive to the village and respectful of the village, villagers, right, of the people that were there, but that's not what's going on now. So this ideal of, 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 you know, yes, we have to take Jimmy, who has been nothing but a whole problem from four years old, and now he's escalating to the point where he's actually firing a gun and shooting people, and we're still on that, oh, he's just a child, oh, we have to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, I, I don't, again, I don't know if you guys have watched some of these videos uh, of the viciousness. Like I have grandchildren that have to, that, that's gonna have to be in school and have to be in, in proximity with these kids that have no respect, that have no raising, no home training. And now what you're saying is because mom and dad aren't around to do that, I have to do that? No, no. I would be more receptive to that if 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 the children or if the if the child was was uh, just halfway respectful and decent. But now I got to do that with kids that will assume shoot or or hurt or harm me and mine because they've never been taught. No. Mm -mm. I, 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 you know, I feel bad for these teachers now. It's one thing that, number one, they don't pay them anything hardly. Then they have to go in and not only teach these kids, but be assaulted, uh, be verbally assaulted by these kids. And we sit back and, oh, well, that's the job. And they have to, you know, you have to have a heart for Jenny and Jimmy, who are little terrorists, who ain't been taught nothing by their parents to come in there and, and verbally and physically assault and abuse people. BS. BS. Hell no. No. You know what? I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what the answer is, but I know that it's getting worse. You know what, I take that back. I do know what the answer is. I just gotta figure out how to say it so I don't get flagged on here. My um, my Bible readers and church, church folks that know what this means. In certain countries, as a child, where you ain't acting right, you know what they do? They take you out back, put you on a pole, and they rock you to sleep. I'll let you figure that out. But there's consequence to bad behavior. And that's totally missing here. Not only is, is, is there no consequence for bad behavior for our children, it's damn near rewarded. You try to threaten a kid now with jail. You know what? Bet. I, I ain't got nothing out here. Half my friends are there. I get a free meal every day. I get housed. I get sheltered. That's a come up. No consequence. It's just getting really, really bad. And I think that that we are we're trying to play the game out of an old playbook that no one's using anymore as far as these kids go. 
And uh, I think people are going to continue to get hurt um, until we start thinking about this thing different and playing by a different set of rules because they are. And I'm tired of that excuse where they're just kids. These are kids that are killing people. These are kids that are robbing, breaking into homes. Not all of them. I'm not talking about, I'm not generalizing and saying all, but enough. It's doing this to where this is becoming a whole problem. And uh, I don't know. We got to do something. We got to do something different. So listen, I, that's just me ranting, me talking. Um, thanks for rocking with me today. Again, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for what we can do to kind of change course because we're definitely going down a bad road here. And it's frightening, not so much for me, but like I said, I have grandchildren. And you might too, I have small children or grand grandchildren that's in the mix of all of this. And what do we do? You gotta figure out something because you know, your, 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 your uh, president and vice president, they're not in the, the Democrats and Republicans are not in the classrooms with your grandchildren and with these teachers. Um, whether you are Trump or Biden or whoever, no, they're, is, they're, they're isolated and protected from this madness. But your kids ain't. Your grandchildren ain't. So we need to kind of figure out what to do. But we need to do something. Listen, I am Big Will McKinney. Thanks for rocking with me today in the Smokehouse Lounge. Uh, uh, again, uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, and we'll be back for some more content soon. Thank <laughs> you.